We burst through enemy defenses unharmed. Frontline prayer wars against the evil ones. Birth through Elisha Valiahu. Angel Gabriel came to her to give her the news. A mighty wind, Yahshua's demon stompers, they are marching like warriors, they charge. No fear, no compromise, overcomers. When the enemies come like a flood, Yahshua will raise up a standard against the enemies. A mighty wind, Yahshua's demon stompers, and faith standing on Psalm 91, this battle will end in victory. Yahshua has given us the authority to trample serpents and the powers of the enemy. Luke 10, 19. Defending holiness and walking in obedience. Goliath slayers, we all stand in agreement. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. But against evil in the spiritual realm No fear, no compromise Yeshua's demon stompers When the enemies come like a flood Yeshua will raise up a standard Against the enemy Mighty wind, Yoshua's demon stompers, and faith standing on Psalm 91. This battle will end in victory. When the enemies come like a flood, Yoshua will raise up a standard against the enemies. Mighty wind, Yoshua's demon stompers. Faith standing on Psalm 91, this battle will end in victory. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide. Yoshua's coming back for his bride. We're YDS, we're standing strong. This is our song. The enemy said in three days she'll die. But Ali Shevali, who's alive, she's a YDS. Still standing strong, this is your song. May 24, 2005, Archangel Michael fought to get to her side, fighting off the enemy. He protects the bride, his wing hanging over her bedside. Like an innocent two year old child, she touched his wing, marveling at the beautiful sight. The Judases will run and hide. Reprobate enemies rejected, denied. Jeremiah 6, 27 to 30 is your eternal life. No pride in Yoshua HaMashiach's pride. Wanna be like Enoch, raptured into the sky. He was pleasing to Abba Yahweh. He went to heaven alive. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide. Yoshua's coming back for his bride, we're YDS, we're standing strong, this is our song. The enemy said in three days she'll die, but Ali Shabali, who's alive, she's a YDS, still standing strong, this is our song. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide. Yoshua's coming back for his bride, we're YDS, we're standing strong. This is our song.
May 24th, and I just want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out of love to the precious Yushua Demon Stompers. I want to tell you how much I love and appreciate each one of you. Your faces are not before the public. Some of them are, but most of you are hidden. You are so precious. And without you, she will raising you up and bringing the holy angels to give me the name of the most holy prayer intercessors. I really, with all my heart and soul, believe that it hadn't been for you. If it hadn't been for the holy prayer covering, there would be no ministry right now. So how much I bless you and all the listeners also. Well, here's what it is. You know, you prayed for me. People all over the world didn't even understand the attacks that this ministry is to the Alphantar Almighty Win, Ruach HaKadosh Fire Ministry, which is a mouthful in itself. But um, we are a Messianic Jewish ministry teaching the Jewishness of Yeshua. So I say his name is Yeshua, as you do. Yeah. And it's happening to the most holy. Those that are listening right now, and they've wondered why all of a sudden it seems like they've been losing some battles where they used to be able to win them. And we're on our face before Yahweh and Yahushua 24 hours a day crying out for deliverance in various areas. The most holy people right now are under attack. And when I asked Yeshua why, because on May 20th, literally gave me a word that I held on to. But you see, the devil, and this is what I want people to understand, Satan was just laying in wait and saying, aha, now I got her. So without knowing, and still don't know what happened, um, all I know is I'm under severe, severe attack, and people all over the world started praying, and something good came out of this because it's Yeshua's demon stompers. Yeah. And it was the first of a ministry on May 25th, and they are, and Yeshua told me they are the special elite forces. And if people who are listening believe they belong to that special elite forces, they are the ones that can look in the face of Satan and not run. Because oh. through the blood and the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we do have the authority to stop those demons, okay? Right. Well, I And been, what right. it is, is... Uh, all I know is all over the world people were writing me and saying, I will pray for you. I didn't even have to talk on the telephone days ago. And they said, I will pray for you, but I'm telling you I am under the most extreme attack. And they said, we've never known such attacks. No, this no, was, never. No, this never. Is, is, uh, I have never known. They just wanted to minister. And yeah. but that's off the subject. The main thing is um, the demonic attack had been so extreme and I'd never seen it like this, and oh. people were writing me, yes, I'll pray for you, and then the next thing I know, they're saying, please cover me. When I started praying for you, I come under heavy attack, barely able to, <laughs> to limp off of the front line so somebody could cover me, you know? Now the special yeah. elite forces had better be raising up. Those that are, see, you can't just be, say you're special elite force and afraid to face uh, Satan in the face because the Bible says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices. You better be walking holy. Well, the warriors you have be been. walking the talk. Amen. And, and they are the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah, and, and, they are Revelation 14. These are the ones that Yeshua is going <laughs> to come for when he comes. And they are a special elite forces. And don't think Satan don't know their names. Because well, yes. right now, and he is zeroing in on them. But people, we have the victory because we are more than a conquerors. You, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord, our Messiah, our King of Kings. He is coming. But there is warfare to do first. And we have to be willing to be like a David and go after Goliath and chop the Goliath's head off. You know what? This is the, the, the greatest... This is a, what's so very strange. You know the people who are listening the most are not in America? That's you right. know the greatest souls that are getting saved that come to our ministry site? They're from India, they're from Africa, they're Indonesia, they're Finland, they're Hong Kong. We have so, so many people getting saved in Hong Kong. Dream after dream of, of going to a wedding in Hong Kong, and we have the most faithful partners in these faraway places. You understand? I love you guys. I love all of you who have offered me invitations to come. Right now, unfortunately, my job in America isn't yet done. 
because, and, and oh, I have to give you one more word. Okay. We were given a word, and that is about the bride of Yeshua. You know, this is all about Esther. Esther thought that she, she really didn't know until the last moment that she was worthy to be called the queen until he took out that scepter. There was many being prepped to be queen, remember? Yes. And again, the bride of Yeshua is like Esther. All right? Mm. And what it's all about is we are being prepped right now. And he said this. He said, you are being tested right now. Will you stay loyal to me even when I don't allow you to win every battle? Will you stay loyal to me when I allow pain to come on your body that wraps so bad? Okay? And that was what it was all about is loyalty. And we are being tested right now. Yes. And if we, the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach, are being tested, how much more are the others? I call them Job comforters. I don't need none of the Job <laughs> comforters, thank you. <laughs> you know? Because those were not friends. And he ended up having to pray for those because they come under the wrath of Yahweh for the things they said. Here's another warning that he gave me during this time. And that is this. He said, there'll be no Jonas. There's no Jonas in his special elite forces. And he said, Elizabeth, read about Jonah. See, Jonah wanted to do it his way. Jonah said, I already know what you're going to do, God, and as a prophet, I don't want to go there, and blah, 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 right? And Jonah will insist on doing it their way. Well, I was really amazed as I read the book of Jonah, and I realized it never said whatever happened to Jonah. It never, I, I don't even know if we will see Jonah in heaven. Does it, do you know the end of Jonah? Because I don't. I know this, I know this beyond a shadow of a doubt because not only has he prophesied it through me, but I've had dream upon dream and also I know our beloved Yeshua HaMashiach is coming back on a Rosh Hashanah. I don't know which one. I know that it will be for those that are his bride. Those that have been tested in the fire. Those that have been his mightiest warriors. Those that have been willing to lay everything on the altar of sacrifice and even say, if it's my time, take my life. I'm ready to go home. Because you see, that is the end result. You and I, we are only working our way home. We have to do the job exactly. that we've been called to do. And yes. the people listening also, um, we all have been sent to earth to do a job. Exactly. And our bodies are going to change. I don't know if it's this Rosh Hashanah now. Oh, I'm going to be on my knees begging and pleading and praying, and I pray that you're with us on, on this Rosh Hashanah because that's where I am. Every Rosh Hashanah, I am, oh, please, Yeshua, come, come, you know. But I know this, it's what you said. We are going to have a glorified body. There is going to be, I may real quickly just say this, and that is angels came to me as I told and he's got it under the anointing if he kept it on his, his uh, machine. And angels came to me on May 24th. I touched the wings of an angel. The angels came to give a message. I want to tell you what the angels' wings are real fast. They were gilded in gold. They were so soft. They were looked to have jewels just radiating off of them. And I touched the wings of an angel, and there was healing in the wings. And the angel's message is this. People, something so big is ready to happen. For those of us that are holy, the tide is going to turn. There is a new anointing coming. It is that is going to be an anointing that we are going to be praising Yahweh and Yahshua for because we do have the victory. And so don't give up. We are in this together. One of us can't do it alone. He always sends his disciples out two by two. But now we need to gather together. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Abba Yahweh, we ask in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for victory for each and every person that is listening, Heavenly Father, those that have been beaten, downtrodden, who thinks that Satan has been stomping on them. Well, now is the time, Father, for us to get up off our feet, and now is the time for us to be Yeshua's demon stomp. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, to the shed blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, we have the victory. Victory over sickness in the name of Yeshua. Victory over, over financial losses and poverty. Victory over the devil in every way that he can hit us. We have the victory. And we thank you, Abba Yahweh, right now.
because it is the anointing that breaks the yokes and bondages. Let the wildfire anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh come upon each and every one of those that are listening and that are holy right now and that have been trying out for a greater anointing because this is my prayer. I don't ask for more wisdom of this world. I ask for each and every day I live on this world, a greater anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. That lies our victory in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. That is our only weapon, the name, the blood of Yeshua and his anointing. That is my prayer for everyone. Yes, please write me. Let me know if you're part of that special elite forces. We need one another. And I would really look forward to hearing from you. I want to know where the Holy Bride is scattered around this world. Where are you? We need you. We need one another right now. A Mighty Wind Ministry is legally trademarked. Violators will be penalized 500,000 USD. Hatred, defamation, slander, and libel of owner in videos, websites, and all forms of media will be prosecuted. Due to a lack of time, Prophet Elisheva wasn't able to fit all details into the last recording, so she asked this to be read on her behalf by a daughter who went through this spiritual experience with her at the time. Michael, the holy archangel, came to Prophet Elisheva with two more angels, stood over her bed awakening her, and Archangel Gabriel gave her a message from Yahushua, Hallelujah! She had been in a fierce battle for three long days, but actually it began weeks before. She had been invited as a guest for a radio show. She's been on three other radio shows total, but this time it turned out to be satanic plants trying to infiltrate, and Yah forced them to see all their plans and curses backfire. In spring of 2005, ministry partners around the world kept writing to Prophet Elisheva that they too were under extreme spiritual warfare but what the devil meant for evil, Yahushua turned around for good and his glory. That is what happens when the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. When we serve Yahushua, he gives us life abundantly instead. Little did Elisheva know at the time that this was the battle for the birth of Yahushua's demon stompers. All that time, Michael warring his way through the heavenlies, Elisheva, exhausted after the most serious attacks she had yet experienced, all of a sudden saw holy angels standing next to her in her bedroom. Of course, now we all know this battle was the labor pains of a new branch of the ministry on May 24, 2005, Yahushua's Demon Stompers, and also for the prophesied 500,000 to come forth and stand on the wall in a greater way. For in 1997, Prophet Elisheva had had a back-to-back -back repeating dream where Yah told her, gather the troops on the wall. And she saw them all dressed in white from around the world, the number being 500,000. The Holy Spirit would gather them with this ministry, as we unite in the anointing, shouting together in victory, it would be as the walls of Jericho come tumbling down again, and like David slaying Goliath again. Years later, Yah also told her, these are the partners who stand with this ministry to help accomplish all it has been ordained to do, meaning not financial partners only, but those helpers who believe and stand with the ministry 100% helping however Yah leads to take the good news of Yahushua HaMashiach and the prophecies to the four corners of this earth. And it has already begun with Yahushua's demon stompers. Elisheva was awakened by three holy angels, Michael's very large wing hanging over the bed. She reached out to touch it like a child marveled at the softness and beautiful shimmering embedded iridescent colors, though she saw no gems directly. At that very moment, she immediately felt the battle and birth labor end. The three days of nonstop warfare lifted as she touched his finely jeweled wing and received a new spiritual gift of healing in his wing. 
for all the bride. Praise Yosha HaMashiach, our Messiah, Lord God and Savior. All the angels were so excited. Then Archangel Gabriel spoke, reading to Elisheva from a scroll, listing the names of the intercessory prayer warriors and the name of the group, Yoshua's Demon Stompers, telling her Yoshua wanted her to give birth to this new branch of the ministry who would be, quote, holy prayer warriors like none other. He also told her, all of heaven is rejoicing and preparing for the bride of Yoshua, and that the next time he would come to her would be as part of the announcement of Yoshua's return for his bride. Later, everyone, including the enemies, had to hear in her voice that she was alive and thriving, every curse reversed, praising Yah with all her heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit, with all her life and perfect health. They had to listen to her testify for Yahushua HaMashiach's glory, that she had literally touched the wings of an angel, and how these holy angels had delivered a special message, which she would even share later on the radio show mentioned before. All those enemies were gnashing their teeth in rage, as they never really planned to have Prophet Elisheva on air, since they wanted her dead. But of course, she was more anointed than ever. They had to listen more than once to her testifying of the victory Yah had just granted us, while they were pretending to wear the mask of Christian. But even that, only for as long as Yah allowed it, before the masks were ripped off. The response was so overwhelming as the request for prayer had gone out. Elisheva felt all the prayers and love as people went to their knees and began interceding for her and the fellow ministers. The YDS, Yosha's Demon Stompers, announced to Elisheva May 24, 2005, and announced online to the world the next day, May 25th, Yosha spoke to her. These are my special elite forces who will take back what Satan has stolen because in the name and blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, you have the authority to stomp those demons. You are going to bring me great glory by showing the enemy and the lazy, backslidden, lukewarm church just what my people can do when they walk before me as obedient, mature warriors who love me, who love one another, and who will do my will, no matter the cost. And also, you are going to see the enemy in a way you've not ever seen before, no longer to wonder what side someone is on. Yoshua is given greater gifts of discernment and victory. Quote, the tide will turn if you can get a hold of it and believe it and receive it. Where sickness was, there is health. Where oppression, there will be deliverance. Where poverty, Believe me, you will no longer be in lack for the bride of Yosha and for all those who are walking holy. The internet had to listen to all this back then. The revelations Yosha gave Elisheva for the YDS and the 500,000 during that same season of the counting of the Omer of Shavuot and Pentecost 2005 as she preached and prophesied under the anointing against the devil and his servants who happened to be on that radio show. Another word she received at the time was that the YDS is also like unto a mighty Gideon's army. As it is written in Judges chapter 7, Yahweh weeded out the troops from 10,000 to a mere 300. Yah told her that the YDS would be tested, and those who remain are Yahushua's bride. There would be no Jonas, Judases, or Vashtis able to remain in the wide yes. And many times Yosha has said, there is no pride in the bride. Another word she received long ago, spoken in a prophecy before she was even on the internet, was that Judases will come and seek to join with the ministry, but when they do, they will have the fate of a Judas. There are many YDS around the world, some that we don't even know their names, but Yah does. And they also are being tested to see who is faithful to remain, 
who will be counted worthy as Yahushua's bride. But remember, before we came to earth, we chose the calling that we would walk in, what price we are willing to pay, and Yahushua paid the highest price just so we could be with him and return to our Abba Yahweh and heaven. It's an honor just to attend the marriage supper of the Lamb, for the Bible says, Blessed are all those invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. These are the true words of God. And it is for all those who have accepted Yosha's gift of salvation at Calvary's cross. We have people all over the world that come together and fight the hordes of evil that try to destroy this ministry. We receive emails where, where people are covering this ministry in prayer. And even though they are not officially known as YDS, they are part of our holy covering, and we love and appreciate their prayers so much. Beloved ones, we no longer wait for spiritual attack before, with Yosha's leading, going on the defense. As Prophet Elisheva has said, in the spiritual realm with the YDS, we now go on the offense, and no defense that the enemy mounts will stand. How? The words say, we are to be in prayer continuously. Don't wait for an emergency to occur before going into prayer. Every time you think about it, pray for the safety and well-being of Yosha's demon stompers and all the holy intercessors. Bind up the power of the enemy with the authority given you in Luke 10, 19. And thank Abba Yah for complete victory over everything the enemy even thinks of throwing at us. This is the best defense. The devil is just doing his job, but with Yoshua we have the victory through his name and his blood by walking in holiness. In Yoshua's name we are warriors, not wimps. Happy birthday, Yoshua's Demon Stompers! Gonna run, we're not gonna hide. Yoshua's coming back for his bride. We're wide, yes. We're standing strong. This is our song. The enemy said in three days she'll die. But Elisha Valley, who's alive, she's a wide, yes. Still standing strong. This is her song. May 24, 2005. Angel Michael fought to get to her side Fighting off the enemy He protects the bride His wing hanging over her bedside Like an innocent two-year-old child She touched his wing Marveling at the beautiful sight We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride We're wide, yes, we're standing strong this is our song The enemy said in three days she'll die But at least Shevalia who's alive She's a YDS Still standing strong This is her song